just a huge win for our program today. Uh, Southern Arkansas is so good. And uh, to have to try and get past them again today was a real challenge. And uh, uh, we waited a long time to try and uh, uh, take care of business in the top of the seventh and uh, had some good fortune with some walks and a hit batter in the middle of the inning and uh, just fortunate enough to come out with a win. Um, I just really think this kind of game speaks to what our team is and what we stand for, and that's never giving up, taking one pitch at a time, and never getting outside ourselves. You know, even in the last inning, a lot of teams may have gone out there and uh, just kind of still settled in, done the same thing, but we amped it up to another level and uh, just kept giving it one pitch at a time, and that really paid off for us. Um, I just think it was right before the seventh inning started, we just took a big collective breath and calmed ourselves down and knew that uh, we had done it before and it was definitely uh, doable again. Um, and starting off with just getting runners on base kind of pumped us up that inning and it uh, really affected how we carried on the rest of the inning. Coach Berry, that, that seventh inning, the two walks to start the inning seemed to really spur the inning. Uh, Carney, a freshman, and Faringa, two freshmen that, that get walks to begin that inning. Yeah, they've been big for us off the bench. They're just not afraid to get up there and do what they have to do. And they've gotten some key hit for us. And at this point in the season, they're not freshmen anymore. Uh, and they don't act like it. They, they're they ready to do what they need to do. And it was a real credit to them that they went up there in a key situation and had the patience to take the walks. And uh, at that point, that kind of set the table. And uh, we were fortunate to get a couple more things like that. And then get a key sack fly to tack on another run and, and make it easier for ourselves in the, uh, in the bottom of the seventh. Kimmy, talk about your at bat there in the seventh inning where you hit the little roller up the first base line and you immediately jumped out of the box and, and, and took off because when that play started, that ball was in foul territory and came back fair. Uh, yes, sir. Just, you know, obviously not necessarily that was planned. I'd like to say that that was all talent there, but nope. <laughs> anyway, I, I, you know, got the end of my bat on it. I saw the spin of the ball and saw that it was going to possibly come back into fair territory. I knew I needed to get it first, so. I booked it there, and thankfully it all worked out. Peyton, talk about your two hits. Uh, the first one drove in the first run. <clears> you had a, another hit there in the seventh inning, but they drove in a run. Um, yeah, I've been feeling a lot better about my bat lately, and uh, I had team yelling in my ear behind me, so uh, I knew that I could do it. The first hit, I was shaking literally like the whole time, or the first hit. Um, but I could hear my teammates behind me doing the silly cheers that they do, and that really calmed me down. Uh, and I just knew I had to, she was going to get me one, so I just had to be patient and wait for the one. Kimmy, being a senior, I mean, playing this regional at home, to win a game like this, to come from behind, what, what does that say for this program? I mean, you've been here from the start. I really, just like I said earlier, I, I think it shows that we don't, we don't ever give up. And we all came together right before the seventh inning started, and we all looked in each other's eyes, and I could tell that we were going to be on fire. And at that moment, it really <laughs> gave, I don't know, I knew that we were going to do it. I just had that feeling in my stomach. We got in the dugout and we do what we do. You know, some people call us crazy, but that's what works for us. And uh, we did the same thing we've done all year and just taking one pitch at a time, and it really worked. Coach, you mentioned the sacrifice fly, the Amanda Burden sack fly was big for the reason, obviously, to make it a five run game at that point. Yeah, you, you're just trying to, to continue once you get the lead and you tie it, you get the lead. You're just trying to see if you can add one or two more. And obviously with, with their power and their ability to hit, we knew we were going to have to face the top of their lineup in the bottom of the seventh. If they can't win it with, or tie it with one swing of the bat, then you feel a little bit better going out there in the bottom of the seventh. So every run we could add in the top of the seventh was surely going to be helpful for us. Autumn Humes, another complete game. She really battled for you. Her 32nd win, that's uh, most ever in the Great American Conference, and uh, she really battled today. Yeah, she and Hannah Johnson have been so great for us in the circle this year, and uh, they continue to do the job for us in the, in the postseason, and they know what they're supposed to do is go out there and give us a chance. And even though we trailed, she, she had done her job to give us a chance to win, and when it came, the opportunity came our way, we were able to get it done. Thank you, Coach.